Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy and welcome to round 4 of Madden Madness. Only 3 games left. In this tournament it's win or go home and anything can happen. Today we have the AFC Championship in Lincoln Financial and Philadelphia, home of the Eagles. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Titans, it's the Jets, it's Mad Madness, and it's time to get going. Marcus Mariota getting ready. And number eight's going to have a big game. He seems he will get the first chance to do so as the Jets will be the ones kicking off to start the game which means they'll get the ball first to start the second half. And the kick is away. Caught in the back of the end zone by Jackson, who's going to take a knee. And the ball will come out to the 25. So here comes Mariota. He's got three touchdowns, zero picks. And he's been playing really well so far, although he hasn't been throwing much. He's got more rushing yards than throwing yards as a quarterback, which is pretty rare <laughs> if you ever see it at all, especially this late in any season of any length. They're going to break huddle, and here comes the first snap of the championship or AFC championship game. Running formation, Smith in motion. Hands to Henry, and Henry's brought down immediately for a loss of two. Brings up second and 12, and that's a tone setter. First snap of the game is so important. If you get a big gainer, the defense is deflated, but if they can get a stop like that, they got some early confidence. Just the first snap, but it is so important. Second snap of the game now. Running formation once again. Second and 12. Mariota throws and misses the man on the slant. And the Titans have beaten the Jags, the Texans, and the Browns to get here. The Titans have been like the bad news bears. Mariota has more rushing yards than throwing yards. And they've just been finding different ways to win games. The Titans have not turned the ball over yet so far in Madden Madness, and they can't today if they want to win. It'll be a tough game to do that against this ball hawking secondary. Number one goal, keep the ball away from Roberts. Mariota fakes the run, and he's going to scramble like he does. Tries to spin out, and he's brought down. Gets seven, but that's nowhere near close to a first down. And so Tennessee will have to punt on their first possession of the game. Unable to get even a first down. And if the Jets can just do that, contain Mariota, that's how Mariota's been killing. Been killing other teams. Is they can't contain a QB. But if the Jets can keep a spy on him and that spy can do their job, Titans are in a world of hurt. Kicks away, caught at the 20. Fair catch. Gotta call it down at the 19, actually. First and 10. This is where the Jets will begin their drive. Out comes Bryce Petty. He's got two touchdowns, one pick, though. Two to one. Touchdown interception ratio, not bad. Jets break huddle, and they also show running formation on the first play for their side of the ball. Petty. Takes the handoff. He's going to throw, actually. He's got time in the pocket. All day. 
Throws toward the sideline, incomplete. Just a bit too long. And let's take a look at the Jets now. The Jets have beaten the Dolphins, Bills, and Raiders to get here. Their defense has been electric, giving up three, three, and seven points in each of their victories. To win today, the Jets will have to keep riding their defense. Roberts, who has three interceptions and a pick six, will need to have another great game. Mariota has been relying on his scramble game, and if you can force him to throw to beat you, you might make him uncomfortable, and that should be enough to pull out a win. Bilal Powell gets the handoff, and gets about three on second down. And here's the Titans' defense. Sylvester Williams, the ex-Bronco. Cyprian with that block field goal attempt that was turned into a touchdown in their last matchup against the Browns. He's a man to watch in this one. Third and seven. Titans could not convert on their first third down attempt. We'll see if the Jets can do better. Petty, screen pass to Powell, and Powell goes nowhere. Loses three. Jets are right where they started the drive, and they'll be forced to punt. And that play was just blown up. Just about four minutes left in the first quarter already. Edwards will punt it. Kicks away. Booming kick all the way down to the five. And it'll just bounce into the end zone. Ball comes out to the 20, and that's where the Titans will bring, begin their second offensive series. So the Titans unable to score on their first possession, but were able to stop the Jets on theirs, so no harm, no foul. Titans get the best chance to score though, as of right now. Mariota going to throw on first down, and he's got Matthews, and they'll say the feet were down. What a catch by Matthews. Hopefully they show that again. Caught it in the air, just tapped his feet. And it for the sideline. One, two, I think. What a catch. And so the Titans get the first first down of the game. We've got a long way to go though. First and ten from their own 34. Running formation for the offense. Mariota will throw out of it. Drops back, rolls to his left, cuts up field. He's got daylight. Slides down after a gain of about eight. Brings up second and short. They'll call it second and two. He knew it was man coverage or deep zone. And when that occurs and there's no spy, you get runs like that. Second and two now. Running formation for the offense. They passed out of it last time they showed us. Look, let's see if they actually run it. They won't, they'll fake it. Mariota will throw again, rolls to his right. Steps up, he's got the first down and a lot more. Mariota, three rushes for 33 so far in this one. And he's doing what he's been doing the entire season. Able to get free and scramble up the field for big gains. Simple solution for the Jets is adopt a quarterback spy every single down if you need to. 
See if they learn here. First and ten, just inside field goal range. Mariota to Murray, and Murray's got space. Gets seven, they'll call it eight. Brings up another second and two. And Tennessee is driving well within field goal range now. Three wide, Mariota in the gun. Mariota to Murray. And Murray just gets across the first down marker before he's brought down. Moves the chains. So they avoid third down. So one pass and the rest runs whether by the quarterback or the running back. Just under, just about 30 seconds left in the first. Stalker in motion. Henry, blown up. Two rushes for negative five now to start the game. Second and 13. And the Jets aren't giving up without a fight. Number 67 missed his block and Murray paid for it. Number 33 was in the area as well. And another man coming from behind. Play just had no chance from the beginning. Three wide. Mariota in the gun. Jets showing blitz. Ball will not be snapped as that brings us to the end of the first quarter. Tied ball game at zero. Titans driving. All right, we're back. Start of the second quarter. Second and 13 for the Titans. Let's see what they can draw up here. Mariota under center. Blade handoff to Henry, and Henry slips out of a tackle, and he's got space. He's got the first down and a lot more. What, what an important play that was early in this game. Hitting the backfield. If he's dropped down, that's third and long. Instead, it's a first down. And now, Tennessee's in the red zone. Two passes, eight rushes. Four wide for Mariota. Hand off to Henry. And Henry gets close to the first down marker. As he gets the running game going, they're going to bring up another second and two. They're third, second and two. Second and two of the drive. Just about six minutes left here in the first half. Four wide. Jets showing blitz. And to Murray up the gut. And Murray with the last second effort. Should have enough for the first. They do. So first and goal from the three now. Tennessee on the doorstep. Just an inside zone, and the Jets' tackling is really starting to hurt them here deep in their own territory. So, a short three yards for the Titans. Goal line formation for the defense. 
And to Murray, and Murray's blown up. Loss of three. And brings up second and goal from the six. Second and goal from five plus yards away is really tough. Especially when you're inside the five and you take a loss like that. We're thinking about maybe going run, run, run. Now you got to think about passing it. And on this part of the field, it's very difficult to try and pass on this point in, this, in the game. Mariota steps up the gut and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. So the Jets locked down on him that time. Just about four minutes left in the second quarter. Third and goal now from the six. Likely passing situation. Mariota in the gun. It's Mariota, rolls to his right. Steps up, throws toward the end zone. And it's caught for a Titans touchdown. I think it's Matthews. That's his first touchdown of Mad Madness, and it comes at a really good time. Extra point now. Make it a seven-point game. He nails it. 12 plays, 80 yards, seven minutes. That drive could not have been much better for the Titans. Now Jets have an opportunity to run down the clock. If they can tie this thing, they get the ball to start the second half. So pivotal drive for the Jets early in this game. That's got to be one of the longest drives so far in Mad Madness. So the Jets now, after being unable to get a first down on their previous possession, will have to come out and try and match touchdown for touchdown. Ball comes out to the 25 as the ball sailed over the back of the end zone. Out comes Bryce Petty. Number nine's got to get seven here, or at least three. Ideally, for the Jets, they'll take the entire 3 minutes and 42 seconds, get 7, and then they can double up. They could be up 14-0 to zero before Tennessee gets the ball again. But with 0 total yards, they have a long way to go. Running formation in the eye. Petty fakes the handoff. He's got time in the pocket. Lots of time. Surveys. Throws. And he's got Tomlinson. So Tennessee got a first down on their first play of their second drive. And the Jets match. What a catch by Tomlinson. Good job holding on to the ball. You know he's right behind you. You know you're going to take a lick. I was half expecting that to be a drop. Instead, first down. 11 yards. Rushing to the line, and Petty draws him off. It'll be a free five yards. Still first down. So first and five, you can take a shot here if you want. It falls incomplete. It's basically... Second and five, so it's like you got a five-yard completion even if you throw an incompletion. If that makes any sense. Three minutes left in the first half. Petty under center, first and five. Burning formation. Hands the Powell up the gut, and he's got a couple. 
They'll say two. Brings up second and three. And same situation. You can take a shot here because it'll be only third and three if you throw an incompletion. Clock is running. Near midfield, you don't have to worry about the clock just yet as they rush out to the line. Titans showing blitz. And they will. Petty throws. It's Anderson. Robbie Anderson has the first down. And that might take us to the two-minute warning. Ten yards on the reception. the two minute warning Jets trail 0-7 to seven, but they have the ball and they get the ball to start the second half alright here we are near midfield Jets have the ball down 7 points 3 timeouts, they have all the time in the world just don't want to force anything if you don't need to Four. he's going to throw and he's got Stewart he's dropped at the 40 and they're going to get into the hurry up offense rushing back to the line there's a gain of eight on the previous play, second and two. Teddy. Throws an incomplete. So that brings up third down. Jets are so far 0 for 1 on third down. 8 for 20 this season. Trying to make it 1 for 2 in this game. Petty in the gun. Four wide. And he's got Stewart. Catches the ball right at the first down marker. And takes it upfield for an additional five. First and ten from the 33. Wide open receiver. Good pass. Good catch. And now at the very least they should be looking at getting three. They don't want three though. They want seven. They want... Tennessee to feel a little bit nervous going into halftime. Three wide. And I think Petty got him again. Petty looks excited. I think he did. And it's Sylvester Williams. So first and five now. Still first, down. Still first down. Playbook's totally open with the first and five. You can take a shot at the end zone. You can run. Maybe do a screen pass expecting a blitz. Ball is totally in the Jets' corner. Or court. Tennessee's just taking a shot in the dark here. We'll see what they decide to do. Four wide for Petty. It's Petty. Rolls to his right. And he scrambles up field. Pulls a Mariota. He's got five yards and a first. Clock running. Just about a minute left in the first half. 61 seconds left. The Jets will take a timeout. Trailing 0-7. to seven. And we're back. Jets with the ball, 61 seconds. All the time in the world, two timeouts. Tennessee just trying to minimize the damage here as they've already given up. Many more yards than they gave up on their previous drive. Three rushes, seven passes. A little bit lopsided. That's just because of how 
It's Petty. To Stewart again. Stewart's getting some targets in this one. Jets are forced to take a timeout, second and seven. We'll see what happens on the other side. So Stewart has three receptions for 17. He's been getting a lot of those dump offs over the middle. And that means that there's good coverage deep. Tennessee's thinking maybe if they can get a stop here and get the ball back with maybe a timeout, they can possibly get a field goal and make it 10 to 3. Which, when the Jets get the ball to start the second half, I mean, definitely a lot easier to deal with. Petty to Anderson. Anderson's got a gain of six. 50 seconds left. Third and one now for the Jets. Third attempt of the game. One for two so far. Will throw and it's intercepted. Williamson he's been thrown over the middle multiple times during this drive, and Williamson finally had enough. Steps in front of the throw, picks it off. Easy throw, easy catch. And the Jets, who have only had one turnover so far, double that with that interception. And the Titans, seven points, have a chance to make something happen, or they can be content to go into half, seven points up. That interception could be the difference here, depending on how this game shakes out. Running formation for the Titans after the interception. And they will just run it with Henry. It's only a gain of one, and Tennessee will probably take it to the half now. That'll take us to halftime. Tennessee up seven. No halftimes here in Madden Madness. Let's get back to the action here in the AFC Championship. Start of the third, Tennessee kicking off. New York receiving. So with that interception, Petty has two touchdowns and two interceptions so far on the season. Ball's caught by Natson near the six, and he's going to run it up. Flag down. He, that's a good return if it stands. They'll say it's down at the 39, just about. Oof. It's Austin Safarian Jenkins, and he's that's really his first mistake that I can remember so far this season. He's got two touchdowns. One was a game winner against the Dolphins, and another came in clutch later on in the season. So first play of the second half. Jets will have to make up for that interception now. Could be down four instead. They're down seven still. Powell gets the first handoff, and he goes nowhere. Down at the line of scrimmage, second and ten.
Bunch set of receivers to his right. Petty will throw. Too long for his man. That brings up third down in a hurry. One for three so far. Trying to make it two for four. Two for four is not bad. One for four. That's kind of painful. Titans showing blitz. Petty. Under pressure. He's taken down. Cyprian. Loss of eight on the play. And it brings up fourth down. Petty had no chance. Didn't see the blitz coming, saw it coming too late. And so he had no time to react. Third down, you don't really want to throw it away, but might have been a better decision there. Doesn't really matter much that the drive was over either way. And so to start off the second half, Jets go three and out, and Tennessee has a chance to make this a two-possession game. Edwards will boot it away. He does. Caught at the 15 by Jackson. Who's going to get maybe 10 or so on the return. And so Tennessee will come out now already up 7. And what they really want to do, they really want to take a lot of, if they can have a repeat of their last drive, taking 7 minutes off the clock with the touchdown, that might be enough to seal this one at this point. It'd be about five minutes left in the fourth quarter, down two scores. Jets would be in trouble. They'd already be on their last legs, basically. They need a perfect game. Just about to just tie it. A little bit far ahead of us from where we are right now. Just starting Tennessee's first drive of the second half. Mariota to Henry up the gut. And Henry... Falls forward for a gain of eight. Yet another second and two. And that's what the Jets have really been struggling to do. They can't force second and longs. Mariota and the gun. And Henry, he's got the first. Gain of two, and that's enough to move the chains. Just an inside zone or an inside halfback base. Second and two, a lot of teams like to throw it, so that's what the Jets were expecting. Instead, they run it, just try and get the first down, start running some extra clock. Full wide. Mariota to Henry, misdirection, and gains maybe one. Excellent job by Claiborne. Claiborne drops him. Gain of one on the play. It could have been a lot worse. He was the only Jet in the area. So here comes that second and long now that the Jets have been really craving. Three wide. Mariota in the gun. It's Mariota. Surveys. Rolls to his left. Takes off. He's flying down the field and slides down after a gain of six. Holy smokes. Third and three coming up for the Titans. And this is interesting. Titans are only one for two so far. They've only been in two third downs at this point in the game even though they had that seven minute drive in the first half, four wide. Mariota rolls to his left, or his right, steps up the field, he's gone. Huge gain. Mariota, six rushes, 59 yards. And he's doing what he's been doing the entire season. Able to step up in the pocket, scramble up the field, get big gains. The Jets gotta catch on, they gotta have a full-time QB spy on him. This is just killer. That's going to run another minute and a half off the clock. And I believe it's also going to bring him 
in field goal range, if not really close. Running formation for the Titans. Mariota fakes the delayed handoff, rolls to his right, throws on the run. He's got Davis. Davis runs back towards his quarterback to get the reception. Good throw, good catch. And the Jets just don't have an answer on defense right now. And that's been their strong suit for the entire point of the game, or point of the season up until this point. They've already given up. S seven points is their record so far this season. Tennessee's already about to likely eclipse it. Eclipse it, I'm saying. Henry past the 10-yard line, down at the seven, first down, first and goal. So Tennessee coming out strong. And the Jets' defense is just having a meltdown. Their worst game so far was against the Raiders, giving up seven points. In good position to give up double that. Mariota to Murray. Who gets about three. Look at that time of possession. Tennessee's just killing the Jets right there. Tripled the offense. Killing them in the time of possession battle. This might take us to the end of the third. They're going to break huddle. They're going to try and get something off. Which they won't even get close to being able to do. So second and goal on the other side. End of the third. AFC Championship. Championship on the line. Winner goes to the championship. We'll see what happens. Start of the fourth. AFC Championship. Tennessee with the ball, four yards to go, seven minutes left in the game. Winner will face the winner of the Cowboys and the Vikings. Mariota to Henry, and Henry gets a little bit closer. They'll call it a gain of one. That brings up third and goal. You got to remember, the Titans only oops, one of the Titans only third down conversions in this game was for a touchdown on a third and goal. Let's we'll see if the Jets can keep this a ten point ball game. Mariota scrambles and he's brought down for a sack. It's McClendon. That's a huge play, and that's going to force the field goal attempt. He's been killing them with the scramble all game long, and finally they, they bring him down. He didn't really have anywhere to go. If you look at his path, there was three Jets just waiting for him to try and make that move, so definitely covered that way. That little goal line stand is going to take off about a minute and a half. And Tennessee will take a 10-point lead, assuming this is made. It's made. Tennessee extends the lead to 10. So Jets really need to get something going on offense. Down 10 points in the fourth. I don't know how many more chances you're going to have. I say max. You're going to get three possessions. Maybe four. Two is most, most likely. That's what I would say. That's what I would put money on.
Tennessee gets ready to kick it off. Up 10. Feeling pretty good. And you got to remember, if there wasn't that interception at the end of the first half, Jets would be only down 3, maybe 7, but they wouldn't be down 10. you're New York you got some time you don't need to force anything just try and get in those manageable second downs and third downs just try it you're only down 10 points so five and a half minutes more difficult things have definitely been accomplished Titans showing blitz Teddy on first down he's got Safarian Jenkins and Jenkins coming in clutch with the big catch just like that, Jets are near midfield. That play came at the right time for the Jets. That sets a good tone for the drive. If he would have got sacked or maybe ran the ball for like one yard, Jets would be nervous, but after that play, they got to feel pretty good. And that can only just build as this drive moves along. Assuming they don't make any critical mistakes down 10 points one turnover here is gonna give them a really really bad chance of winning this game Petty screen pass and he's brought down for a sack tries to anticipate the blitz and it doesn't work second and 21 now and remember I was saying about not making a critical mistake that's a critical mistake. You got to throw that ball away. If you don't like it, toss it at the sideline, man. So it's an 11 yard loss. Now, second and 21. Four and a half minutes to play. Trying to make it third down and manage. Well, that's what I say. Four wide. Titans showing blitz. Petty. Brought down again. This time it's Morgan. Third and 25. The Jets are in free fall right now. One for four so far in the game on third down. And they're going to need a miracle here to convert this thing. Third and 25. Not too many plays you can call here. Maybe some birds. Maybe a certain kind of corner strike. But four wide. In the gun. Three and a half minutes to play. Huge play right now. It's Petty. Dumps it to Anderson. Anderson's brought down at the 45. Not even close to fourth down. We'll see if they go for this. Down two scores. You don't have to. You have three timeouts. It's getting late, though. They will go for this. So this is likely the game. If not really close. Petty. Floats it, and he's got Safarian Jenkins. They have the first down, convert on fourth. Coming up clutch again, two receptions, both in very important moments. 41 yards for the tight end. And that play keeps the Jets in this thing, realistically speaking. Two and a half minutes to play. Jets are now in field goal range with that, and they can make it a one possession game no matter what happens. As long as they don't take another couple of sacks. And they snap it right before the two-minute warning. Hits Powell over the middle. The running back is going to get 10 yards. Well, they call it a first. Second and in inches. So, end of the AFC Championship game. Second and in inches now. Jets driving.
Jets down by 10, but still alive in this one late. Two minutes left. Look at that ball. It's right on the line. I would have ordered a measurement. Running formation, Petty's going to throw out of it. It's Sterling for his first catch of the game. And they're going to hurry back to the line. This is where he threw the pick last time he was down here. Let's see if he can do better. Petty throws toward the end zone. Tomlinson, touchdown Jets. a vertical th uh, four verticals and when it's that easy for your quarterback you got to take that every time so we got a ball game on our hands late Jets are a extra point away from just being a field goal back three timeouts still minute 40 kicks up and the Jets are down three And with that touchdown, Bryce Petty has th is over 500 on the touchdown to interception ratio. So the Jets, who have had really good defense up to this point in the season, already given up their record of the game, need a stop. Kicks away. Caught at the four by Jackson. Who runs it up. Pretty good return out to the 28. So a minute 37 left. Jets need a three and out. Tennessee needs a first down. Maybe two. So Mariota's coming out now. And you know what Tennessee's going to do. They're going to run the ball. Or they're going to scramble their quarterback. I do not expect another throw from Tennessee in this game. Maybe a screen at the most. Running formation for the offense, as predicted. Hand to Henry, and Henry's dropped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Jets take a timeout. That only burned four seconds. back now Tennessee with the ball second and ten they've gotten the Jets to take a timeout so if they can get a first down they'll be able to run most if not all of this clock out but Jets got to feel pretty good after that first down gain of nothing no matter what happens I do not expect Tennessee to throw it Mariota under center, running formation for the offense. Hand to Henry up the gut, and he's got space. Pushes forward to the 34, and that should bring up third and just about four yards. Play the game coming up on the other side. It will be a third and four. Minute 30 left in the game. Jets playing for their lives. Tennessee gets a first down. They're going to the big dance. Jets get a stop. They're still alive. Haven't heard much from Roberts yet. Three interceptions and a pick six up to this point in the season. And he's been pretty quiet in this one, though. Let's we'll see what he can do here. On third and four, this is the game. Mariota in the gun. Gun bunch to his right. 
Mariota's going to throw here on third down, and he's got a completion. Huge completion to Davis, and that might just seal it. Jets are forced to take their last time out. What a huge play. That's gutsy. Third and four, you can run it. You're in running range. You decide to throw it instead. And the Jets just need a turnover here. They need, they're pretty desperate. Might just be able to kneel this thing out, honestly. No, they're going to actually run a play here. And up the gut to Henry. And Henry's going to get a couple yards there. Clock's going to run. Down about 40 seconds. This should be the last play of the game. Well, one more play. Unable to stop the clock. And that was the last actual play of the game. Tennessee's just going to kneel this thing out. They don't even need to snap it, the ball again. So they're going to win this thing. 10 to 7. All right. It's official. The game is over. And the Titans are going to the big dance. For the winning team, it's feelings of exhilaration and nerves for the next week. But for the losing team, it's one of those worst feelings to be so close yet so far. And that's a feeling that will stick with you the rest of your life. Win or lose, it's a feeling you never forget. So, was your prediction right? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the game. And until next time, this is Phantom saying see you soon.